Let's start by first determining all of the probabilities that we need in order to, as to assess pairwise independence. The probability of event A, that is of getting a red number appearing, well there are 18 red numbers out of the 36 possible numbers, so the probability of A is a half. Now the probability of B, the event that we get an even number, is, again, there are 18 even numbers, divided by the 36 possible numbers is, again, a half. And then the probability of C, the event that we get a number that's no greater than 18, well, of course, there are 18 such numbers out of the 36, and again, we have another a half probability. Okay, now let's consider the intersections of those events. What's the probability of A intersect B? That is, what's the probability of getting a red even number? Well, there are nine such numbers out of 36, so the probability is one-fourth. And then the probability of A intersect C is the event, the probability of getting a red number that's no greater than 18. Again, you can count nine such numbers out of 36, and you get probability is one-fourth. And the probability of B intersect C is the probability of getting an even number that's no greater than 18. There are nine such numbers out of 36, and that reduces again to one-fourth. Okay, so now the question is, do we have three events that are pairwise independent? Do we have pairwise independence? Well, the probability of A intersect B, we've determined to be one-fourth, it equals the probability of A times the probability of B, because they're each uh, have a half probability, so one-fourth is, of course, one-half times one-half. Uh, the probability of A intersect C is one-fourth, and it, too, can be determined by multiplying the individual probabilities of A and the probability of C, that's one-half times one-half. And finally, the probability of B intersect C is also one-fourth, and it can also be determined by the probability of B times the probability of C, since their probabilities are one-half each. Okay, so we have demonstrated that we have pairwise independence. Now, is the probability of A intersect B intersect C, can it be determined by multiplying the individual probabilities of A, B, and C? Well, what is A intersect B intersect C? That is the event that we get a red even number that's no greater than 18. Well, if you look at the numbers on the roulette wheel, you can determine that there are four numbers that meet those three conditions. So that's probability of 4 out of 36, which can be reduced to 1 ninth. Well, that does not equal the probability of A times the probability of B times the probability of C, because their probabilities are, again, 1 half times 1 half times 1 half, which is equal to 1 eighth, and that does not equal 1 ninth. So no, we do not have a situation where the probability of A intersect B intersect C can be determined by multiplying the individual probabilities of A, B, and C, even though we have pairwise independence.